Hello, everybody. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Let's have a quick chat. So tonight's probably going to be a longer stream, but we're going to be splitting it into two. So we're going to be starting off with some PSO and ending it with some uh, Dungeon Drafters. But I figured while the event was live, we might as well do some runs. I doubt there's too many people on, but we'll play a little bit just to say we played during the event. That way I can point to this. I'm like, where were you? <laughs> when people ask if where the PSO streams are. But anyway, sorry that things were just kind of okay. I just got out of a long work day. It won't, it won't be a very late night stream, so we're starting early. That's how we compensate. Hopefully you've been enjoying Chris Grimm playing those other games like Lament of Innocence. Hello, Imperameter. Hope you're doing well. I'm just picturing it there, you're like, hold on, I'm having some insomnia, and then you just hear absolute wails of suffering, and you're like, oh, music to my ears. You drift off right on the spot. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it truly a Chris Grimm stream if he's not suffering? <laughs> like, he sounds like he's having a good time, something's not right. I better stay awake and monitor. <laughs> it's an important development. playing some Doom when I heard the live notification, indeed. So I'm gonna warm up with just the solo TTF. We're gonna see how many people are around, since we are in an early stream today. And then uh, I guess we'll do some runs. I wanted to see something I didn't get to test last time. I want to see how tanky this character feels now versus the absolute nonsense of the Sinnohs. You watch. In this stupid run, I'll get like a B101 or something for no reason. It's usually how it goes when I'm playing like half, half correctly. You know what? I got Cannon Rouge. This is good enough. Whatever. I don't feel like trying very hard in this run. Listen, I like to do sometimes what I call lazy TTF. I'm like, listen, I, d I don't have to make everything super optimal. I just need to be able to run it in some status. Do I have escape dolls? Yeah, I'm good. I don't think I've ever played a Doom game. I was thinking about if I did or not the other day. I was like, I have Doom 64, and I realized I don't think I ever played it. But I definitely never played the PC versions. Because I was not a PC gamer for a very long time. Oh, I got, I got greedy with that first strike. I got so greedy. I deserve that. Sometimes you just want to start with special attack, even though it's not optimal. So sad. <sighs> that feeling when you don't crit though is the worst. This is where I could see myself using the chate, uh, the native, uh, what's it called? Wow, two skip dolls. It's gonna call them charge arms, but that's what I'm using currently. Uh, Baran's launcher. Poor dragon. Even though I'm like half awake, it's fine. Oh, see that? There we go. I need to do that lineup more often. The difference between hitting all five parts or not at once is kind of nice. I'm kind of angling my gun to line up with the shoulder blade of the wing. I think this will work. As long as I don't tilt the character. To be fine. Oh, why did it miss? Weird. Oh well. I guess we'll show off the Rafoe buffer. I kept trying to do that the other day, and every single time the box I was looking at got destroyed. It was so sad. I got like one Rafoe buffer off the whole time. 
Oh, that time I just missed. I did the spell, but I wasn't looking correctly. So if the dialogue box pops up, if you're in the middle of casting Rafoe, the Rafoe will wait until the text box goes away and then pops up. It can save some time. But not if I miss. And I did miss. How unfortunate. You know what? I'm gonna be honest, chat. Maybe maybe this will be the, the lone opinion. I have had charged Vulcans on this Ramar for all eternity. I really barely use them. I felt like they were very useful in the Hunter because I'm single targeting DPS anyway. But I feel like 80% of the time I'm using Charge Arm. I keep seeing that every now and then where they're talking about like what guns you recommend. And like most of the time, like right there, like I don't really benefit from Charge Vulcan in the same situation. Like it's going to take me two shots to kill no matter what. I'd rather have the gun with more range. See, if I had Excalibur here, I could have swapped over to it. Not that it matters for time efficiency at this part. The only thing that matters is I do something like this, which again, I can't do with the other gun. I'm gonna be like full screen here, line up for the door. I got a couple of tr tries to line up properly. There we go. So I'd rather be like this distance and then also have a gun versus falls than deal with the other nonsense. Oh, I only have an 87% chance of hitting the first heavy? Huh. Never paid attention to that before. Maybe I should do normal heavy heavy there. Single wand incoming? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, like, it technically could happen. It th This run technically gives me Psycho 1. Technically. Okay, and the off chance I get very unlucky. I'm gonna deband myself. But congratulations, Calvisham, for beating Shadow Hearts for the first time. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. I think parts of it are a bit rough. I'm very curious what you'll think of the later games, for sure. Will this character please stop aiming to the left? You've got to be kidding me. Well, now I'm definitely not going to kill. Wow, that was so unlucky. I don't know why he kept facing left there. If he had just faced right, I would have been fine. I would have killed in time. So the problem with uh, the Cannon Ruse, to talk about this gun very briefly, is if your character starts deviating to the left, which happens sometimes, it might be like you just need to go further up so you don't target the head, but essentially it'll start targeting too high up on the worm and you hit less parts. And because that also happens, it's a bit unfortunate. One other thing is that because I don't have a Cannon Rouge with hit, I can miss the heavy attack on Cannon Rouge, which is quite annoying. And funny enough, I might actually unequip my mag next time uh, we go into the boss if I'm going to do Cannon Rouge strats. I actually want to get hit by the boss to reset my attack faster. Okay, can the game please cooperate this time? Thank you. Yeah, see how I'm able to shoot faster there? That's what I want to see. It's obviously going to be slower than Excalibur, but I just don't feel like using Excalibur. So I would love a Cannon Rouge with like 10 hit. There we go, buffered Rafoe. I did it correctly that time. I thought about going to the warp and then I changed my mind. I wanted the money. I got greedy. I guess this enemy is like one of the few times I use Charge Vulcan in the actual run. But even then, like, it's not guaranteed to hit. Kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. on pds pds no nah, no pds unfortunate the greed the greed for the pd chat not going for efficiency there at all i just want pds uh i don't feel like summoning the red one 
I want to see something about this, so I'm going to recast my buffs. We're going to double check something. Okay, so I need to... Beta Swing. Hold on. Something felt weird there. Am I doing this on multiplayer or something by accident? That would also explain the damage. I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage from Sinnoh, which shouldn't be the case. What? How? Why did I have no iframes? I must be a multiplayer. Hold on. I want to do multiplayer Sinnohs. I don't want to deal with them. Let's try this one more time. Like, I have really high defense. I should take damage, but I shouldn't take damage like that. I'm just double checking. If I still take that much damage after Virus Armor or Red Ring, I'm like, I don't know. Something felt a little suspect to me. If so, it's funny that I can kill so fast that it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? I said 90% on that. I wonder if that was multi- Yeah, maybe that was multiplayer. Oops. Sorry, chat. Realmars is so strong. I'd lose track of what difficulty I'm in. Just, it doesn't matter anymore, chat. So I had fun up until the Sinnohs, which is, you know, as per usual, I hate dealing with the Sinnohs. So at some point, I will need a counter weapon for it. So the problem with uh, multiplayer versus single player, I mean, I probably could have beaten Falls, honestly, in the run. The problem more with, yeah, okay, this definitely feels like single player comparatively. So the problem with the run before, oh, yeah, see, the accuracies are different. Yeah, I see it now. That's what I get for taking a break from PSO. Oh, you see how I missed by like 10 damage? So sad. Weapon percentage would have mattered there. But anyway, the point with the Sinnohs is more... I still don't have a great tool against them unless I want to level the Brands Launcher and just burst them. I don't have like freeze traps on me. I don't have like a Zalur. Well, that was another perfect lineup. But yeah, I was on multiplayer mode. There we go, chat. That's how you can tell I'm tired. It's fine, though. I mean, I, I think I did fine on multiplayer up until that point. Then I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, listen, with Shift to D-Band, I can solo falls on this character. I'm not worried about that in multiplayer. That's just called playing with group play every day. Yeah, now I'm going to one-shot the dragon more or less. Yeah, there we go. Much better. So if I have 10% more accuracy, which should always be possible, because if you roll 5% hit, you should be able to roll into 15. Um, then I will have a 100% hit Cannon Rouge. And then if I just boost it with... Uh, a beast. I'll be in a good position. Rip those scape dolls I picked up earlier, by the way. Oh, never mind. The game forgave me. But it's just kind of like one of those things where, like, if I'm normal heavying on Yashmitikov and basically getting the kill, like, what what is my impetus to then select a charge Vulcan in a lot of those scenarios where, like, I can be worse with my positioning and still get what I need? Whereas Charge Vulcan's tighter, and it is useful in less scenarios because of its range dependency. Whereas like this, I could just heavy heavy and he's dead. I, I don't need the charge attack of the, the Vulcan. I can just hit him from wherever I want. Kind of like these lilies just dying two heavies, like who cares? Oops, I hit normal by accident. Just kind of one of those things. It is funny, though, that he was basically able to auto-clear in multiplayer. Yeah, so definitely with the red ring, I feel pretty strong. So ATP, he's only missing kills by, like, a very small amount. And that amount is, like, completely managed by weapon percentage at this point. Like, if I'm literally missing by 10, then it's just, like, just get, like, literally even 5% weapon damage, and it would probably be good enough. So yeah, I really want to see what the other thing feels like. I still feel like I missed shots there, even though that said triple. Hmm. 
I felt like I saw three shots, but only one hit the first shot. Interesting. Well, anyway, same strategy as before. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to take off Nidra for a moment. I want to guarantee that I don't have it when I get hit. I think I equip it in time. I tried to be fast about the menu. I don't know if I got it. I did not. Please do not target the upper part. Please stop turning. Thank you. Anyway. That's what was supposed to happen before. Uh, I'm gonna hold down maybe a little to the right to maneuver myself to the back of the boat. HP material, sure. That worked out. Anyway, take two. So here's what I learned. I still die in multiplayer without Zalur. So I guess in a way, it was still a successful test. Just not what I was hoping to test before I went further. Yeah, I mean, look. Like, look at that. I don't need Charge Vulcan for that. I guess it depends on how much you play multiplayer on the scale of Charge Vulcan. I feel like Charge Vulcan is more useful... If I were to play something like... Anguish? Where... At least with Ramar anyway, where I'm not gonna hit certain thresholds, but I still need to do massive damage. Otherwise, I just feel like mostly zeroed weapons are just good enough in single player. You don't really need great gear. For single player. Multiplayer you kind of do just due to the evasion so without hit percentage. You can feel a little awkward fighting some enemies. I don't know. I think that's where I am with the mindset where I'm like I kind of have everything I need to just do basic runs of the game at this point so it's like I could hunt for like the perfect weapon but I'm not a person that cares about that kind of stuff even in general. I just want it to work. Oh yeah that's like night and day difference. Oh, that is like night and day difference. They're doing like 80. Oh, they're so free. They're so free with Red Ring. Holy. Chan, I want you to go back in the VODs on YouTube. And look when I played this Ramar when he was 140. He took, I'm pretty sure, over 400 damage from them before. They're doing like, what was that, 40? They're doing 10% they're doing damage compared to uh, Red Ring Virus Armor World. I mean, sometimes they hit me for more, but not very often. Wow, that's just unfair, actually. So I guess you don't need virus armor if you have red ring, because I think they give roughly the same amount of defense increase compared to their counterparts. Anyway. Don't mind me just stopping on by. Do 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 do. Got clipped a little bit. Doesn't matter. You know what I was reading the other day, and I want to try it at some point, but I haven't been playing Force in Episode 1 in a while. I want to try Galwind versus Vol Up. I heard there's apparently something very silly you could do with it. But I have never used Galwind still, even though I own it. Mostly only because we haven't been playing Force at all. It's still not even beat, so I'm not excited to do Episode 4 stuff. But if there's people that want to do Episode 4 Rare Enemies, I'm definitely all for that. We're going to line up with it at some point in the stream. Might take like a half hour to get there, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, much faster. So let's get the charge arm there. <laughs> the boss healed itself. Poor choice. This room's always a bit awkward to Rifoe. The boxes are like just far enough apart. Don't really do much about that. What was my I don't feel like frozen shooting strategy? Was it Yashminikov? Might have been Yashminikov. 
<laughs> I'm practicing lazy strategies for when I just want to turn my brain off with TTF. Is something like I weave in between and I go in the corner and heavies? Yeah. I need Frozen Shooter for that. Something like that. It doesn't work as well in multiplayer. Single player, like whatever. Single player gun OP. <laughs> I mean, what was that? Two two shots from Vulcan killed? For a total of six hits. Silliness. Nothing of interest there. Almost at the end of the Sonic soundtrack. Ooh. So in Parameter, are there any runs you would like to do as soon as I'm done testing this? So I'm feeling pretty happy. The defense difference between using Ranger Wall and Red Ring as well as normal, uh, I guess, well, Lieutenant Ma Mantle with decent defense versus Virus Armor is like, wow, the game just became so much easier with Ramar. But again, like, until you get those items, the, I did was not impressed by the Ramar. Now that I have the items, I'm like, okay. I feel it. Oh, there's our Psycho Wand attempt. <laughs> Although, to be fair, we're not having any boost because we're playing single player. Uh, yeah, I might as well reshift him. I'm still on the fence what weapon I like the most here, where there's, like, weapons that are technically faster, but then I can't use them in a more useful phase. So I feel like I lose time, even though they kill the form faster, because Charge Vulcan, for example, doesn't reach full screen. So I'd rather just keep Heaven Striker out, or again, Yashminikov. And definitely for some of the other phases, I'm just purely doing Yashminikov. And if the boss gets in range, then I switch to uh, Heaven Striker, of course. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, there's instances where, like, I think I'm going to use Charge Vulcan, and then I'm like, no. I really don't like how it feels in single player. Just don't like how it feels at all. Uh, I could Yashminikov this form if I want to, to play it ultra safe, I guess. Oh, uh, off by one shot. So sad. So sad. Oh. Yeah, unfortunate. And that's an example of damage I just did there that I wouldn't be able to do with Charge Vulcan. Hopefully the boss stays here. Oh, it did? Nice. Here's arguably where I could switch to Charge Vulcan, but I feel like the time it swaps, it wouldn't be worth it, and I could kill with Yashmanikov again. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, if I'm at any point I'm at, like, midpoint in the arena, the time it takes for me to walk forward and shoot, even though it does more damage with Charge Vulcan, it's just not worth it. I, sometimes I just need the boss, like, dead where I'm standing. And, like, sometimes I'll edge up a little bit. Like, here I'll take my shots, and then I'll hover Heaven Striker to see what the boss does. So if it stays near me, I'm going to have a striker. Like, you know, I can make those kinds of decisions for max damage. But when it goes full screen like that, I just, you know, do a couple foeys. Oh. Boss is actually trolling. Thank you. Oh, missed the sacrifice right at the end. Unfortunate. Well, hopefully this gives me invincibility. Oh, it did? Nice. Still gonna heal, though. Rambling May, I guess. For what? Do you mean snipe in the boss? Randomly base not bad for this boss, so I use it on Fomoral. I missed my sacrifice special. That sucked. 
I thought I was gonna land it. It did not land. Unfortunate. Oh well. Yeah, no, no, no. For foam oral, I bring that in all the time. I, I joke. I haven't used her in a long time versus uh, this boss because she's not the right ID anymore. She's pink ID now. Uh, but back when she was white ID, I, I joked that she was the false slayer because like the double hit heavies where you're not planning to hit special anyway are very strong. So it's insanely good at killing specifically dark falls in all phases. And the fact that it double hits too is hilarious. So I had some sloppy falls gameplay and I still did it in like 14 minutes. Had I been a bit cleaner with uh, two of my shots, I could have saved myself probably about 25 seconds without changing any, literally anything else about the strategies. So without Excalibur on Vault Op or uh, Worm Boss, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It's probably like a low 13. With Excalibur, I would expect to go 12 something. Which again, I'm okay with if I just don't feel like panic spamming Vault Op and equipping B801. But someday soon, one more level, he will be free to do the V801 and I get to practice with him. So that way I don't need my heavenly powers, etc. Although arguably... Yeah, he's got a while before I can remove that completely. So close. Centurion... Is useful for the defense at the moment, so I'll leave it on like that. But yeah, at some point we could do episode 2 runs for more... Oh, I still ended up escaped all positive, that's funny. But I could still end up doing more uh, Rambling Bay runs, because they, they go for Rappies anyway. So you would do Hell's uh, Clock Challenge for fast resets, or if you're looking for more of like an actual quest, you could do uh, the VR... What is it? Max Attack E VR or something? That goes up to the Worm Boss, and you could do a Worm Boss Rare in there if you want. And then you could complete the quest to do dragon. Sounds like we're in credit music. I guess it's appropriate. Is there anything non-credit music related? Oh, I think that's it. But yeah, if you want to do some rambling May runs, just let me know in parameter. I'm assuming that was partially in response to what runs you want to do. Those don't require a lot of players, fortunately. But those would be the options for the quests. If we don't have a full party, I don't think CCC is worth it. If we're just two people... Is it really just vocals all the way through? <laughs> Sonic Frontiers, please. I skipped you like two minutes. Right, I think we're done with the soundtrack for now. I think it's just all vocals at the end. So... I guess I could bring in white ID if you want for that. Or pink ID. Pink ID is better. So now we're, now we're going all the way back to the beginning because I missed it. Yeah, with pink ID, you could double it up for Vivian. I think white ID also gets it. Let me switch characters. And see, because I didn't take my Excalibur, I don't have to bank now. I'm free now, chat. I don't have to weapon swap. I can just win with what I have. Don't auto select stuff. I wonder why it does that sometimes. Like I'm not, e I'm not at all focused on the game. Like the game itself is out of focus, and it's like you know what? We're just gonna first select the first character. I did not touch anything on my controller for that. Although it somehow selected the right character, I guess we'll take it. <laughs> As I said before, I was not looking at the screen at all when that happened either. Yeah, 
The reason I kind of like it is that there's more lilies than not. So what I'll end up doing, we'll probably do maximum attack EVR. Oops. Menu fail. Pink ID also gets Vivian. I actually don't super like Rappy runs for red and white. Like, I'm aware that they can get it. It's just, there's so many more lilies. There's so many more lilies. Especially since it's rare enemy week. And the nice thing, though, is that they still get the alternate of Vivian. They get alternate of Vivian. Keep that in mind, which is super good. So we'll do Ziggy, Password King. Let me just make sure I did episode two, actually. Because I would love a Vivian. I haven't done, like, a pink run in so long. Check in one thing before we go further. Yeah, technically it also drops D roll a shell on uh, pink ID, which is fine if you're looking for the other components. Mill Lily being a half plus Valentine event is pretty powerful. But Vivian on regular Rappi is kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of sick. So we could still do a mix of both, of course. I just don't think there's anything too crazy, like, unless you really want, like, 13, or you're trying to do Disco Brave Man, but it's like, most of the time, it's like, how many runs do you really want to Disco Brave Man after a while? It's like, it's, it's a good rare, but I'm not going to be doing, like, literally all of them for it. Your Paralysis is on. She is unequipped. Let me go to my share bank and just put on an arbitrary red ring because I'm not using spells here. You know what? Load her up with Excalibur. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, Just take one of the red rings. Why not? <laughs> yeah, this character looks like a red ring user. Good enough. B101, B801, Cure Paralysis Adept. Got my Slicer, Rambling May, Excalibur. What a combo. <laughs> that is called B 25 hit Rambling May. That's called being prepared for episode two, Chad. <laughs> just, I'm just, I've had it with them. Mmm, those beautiful all yellows. So we'll see if anybody else wants to get in on the action. I mean, I think I even have a boss weapon. I have Excalibur. And obviously anything that is a big group, I'm just going to slice her. I could put away my Cure Freezing Cure Shock, but I got five Scape Dolls, so I don't really care. So, last call for people wanting to hop in the game. We are finally doing some multiplayer. I'm like, hey, at some point I wanted to do these runs. And if people want to do Cycle 1, you have to let me know. That is not a run I willingly do on stream anymore. <laughs> you have to be like, I request it. Because <laughs> I mentioned this a couple of times on stream, but I am super burned out of Cycle 1 runs. Eight hours straight of one of a one-minute quest was like, ugh. So, granted, we're not doing that quest specifically, but it's like, hmm... Oh, of course. I keep forgetting. Even though it is VR in the name, it's not a VR quest. Silly me. I think we need maximum attack EVR. That looks right. So there's 31 lilies, if I remember correctly, in this quest. And there's also rappies, which is funny. We don't have to kill the boss. The boss is more like if you're bored and you want XP. <laughs> That's the best way to describe this quest. Like you, I, I don't enjoy the episode two bosses that much. We could do it if you really want to level, but not recommended, generally speaking. Okay, into the warp I go. Uh, I'll, I'll equip my weed whacker. Why did that... Oh, I guess because of it's her weird sword swings. 
Jim Ryan says, holy Sonic 3D Blast. Indeed it is. We're playing Sonic Soundtracks. All right, so she can land the third hit. That's kind of sick. Her animation with it is terrible. But now we know. I don't... Have I ever used Excalibur on this character? I feel like I haven't. But it is funny. She could do some damage. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to two Rambling Maybes. They're not going to let me build up into something fun. Oops. Debuff time. Yeah, I mean, like, a single shot on a single target does about as much as Excalibur did. So, honestly, the fact that it double hits really saves it. Oh, look at that damage. Disgusting. Yeah, it certainly feels very awkward, for sure. Hopefully you're doing well. I'll walk away from the Rappies. I do want Vivian, though. No Vivian. It was spam rambling my own for more. It's a lot of fun. I tend to spam Slicer. We're mostly just reacquainting ourselves with this character. I haven't used her in a while. But oh, the double hit. I have to remember I'm in multiplayer, so the accuracy is not as good as single player. So I can't just blat blat boom everything out of existence. I have to actually care about not using heavy attacks. So we currently have a uh, red ring on, so our accuracy is pretty good for Fomoral. You got that combo guy. Are you talking about the add-on? Yeah, but sometimes it's still worth going for it. I set it at 80%, for example. So if it's 75%, I'll sometimes still go for it. Just depends on the matchup. And a lot of times I have to shoot and preemptively decide heavy or normal before I see the indicator. If that's also what you mean. A lot of times it's literally, I pull the trigger as soon as I line up. I don't wait to look at it. Set it to 100%. Ooh, 100%? Oh, that's that sounds very, very overtuned. Are you telling me you don't take 95% shots? Ooh. Well, I hope you have really high percentage then. Oh, okay. That makes more sense because I'm like, I'm like, oh boy, that that is gonna lead to some real interesting clears. That makes more sense. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, you know what she's missing? I know why I'm missing the shots. It's not the accuracy guide. I don't have smart link. We'll go back for that eventually. Combo guide does not account for that either. Fun fact. So if you're a ranger, it doesn't matter, but it matters if you have the other classes and don't have smart link. So if I'm at max distance, potentially I'm up to minus 68% from the first shot reading. So I have to kind of think about it. If I really, if I really want to do math live. Because I think pistol is up to negative 45 due to distance. Feel free to correct me on the exact numbers. I'm pretty sure those are extremely close. The Sniper has quite a distance to it, and Pistol already at max distance is ridiculous. Rambling May has handgun range. Um, You know, I saw that on the wiki, and people were already contesting that. Is that actually true? I don't feel like that is. <laughs> Like, that literally came up yesterday, I kid you not. Let's compare on stream later. Pistol versus Rambling May. 
Unless there's some weird hard-coded thing in the client that extends RM range, it's accurate. What, are you saying it's accurate because it's on the wiki or accurate because you checked it? There's a difference there. The wiki says many things, but the wiki's not always right. That's why they correct it daily. Ah, oh, got it, got it. Interesting. Just the internal item data list the game uses, yeah. I knew it was, yeah, I remember for a long time I thought it was like sniper range, and I'm like, it doesn't feel quite sniper range, but I wasn't sure if it was pistol range exactly or not. Oh, for sure. I remember a long time ago I used to edit the wiki. But I, I haven't touched that thing in eons. You're tempted to go test it? Oh, for sure. As I said before, I remember that literally just came up again in conversation, funny enough. I believe it was literally yesterday. Yeah, I think the problem is, is that when I started editing things, it doesn't, it's not on my like streamer name. So, so I, I didn't even, I didn't even fix my account until this year to reflect the right username. I was like, oops, I should probably make my forum name match my stream name. PSO, PSO predated me streaming. So I think that was back in 2016 I started playing. I did not stream in 2016. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. Yeah, we're just coming back from a break of PSO. So I have all the PSO rust at the moment. I should have sliced it there. That would have made more sense. Oh well. We live, we learn, we remember barely. Nice. That time that was intended. Did you bonk me out of the hit? That was so rude. Nice. Come on, Vivians. I would say that is insanely unlucky procs on demons. I don't think a single demon went off on three targets. It's uh, unfortunate. I'm gonna die. That feeling where I die mated, but it wasn't enough. I I even menued fast. It's not fair. Die mate, you let me down. Did it crit me? It did like 400 to me. That's unfortunate. Is that a spread needle I see? Maybe from the other player. Not for me though. I went in doubt, resounded out. Listen, I don't have to play their game. Force could just decide not to get hit by Lily. Oh, I need smart link so bad. So bad, chat. So sadly, no rare enemies during rare enemy week. But you know what we call that? We call that the usual. <laughs> Listen, Chad, we we never expect rare enemies during rare enemy week. It's always when we're on IDs that we don't need the rare. It's like, it's like, oh, were you looking for Pazuzu and Dwarf on a clear? Uh, why don't you have it on like <laughs> I, I don't know, like, like like blue ID or something weird. Like thanks, game. Not the Astark rare I'm looking for. It's handgun rage. Thank you for the verification. So I believe that's it until the boss. Yeah. That's like a 10 minute ish run. With a full party, it's more like eight. So it's a pretty short run. If we had four players, we'd be doing maybe Cal's Clock Challenge or something. 
But indeed, that does look like the spread needle. I like that I'm somewhat color coordinated with uh, Inferometer. We got the green white combo going. The bit of gray. looking at the icon next to Ryan's name and I saw oh FFC supporter I see it now I understand <laughs> I was like I hadn't seen that badge before nothing of interest in the shops no no cheeky charge Vulcans in there or whatever maybe we can do a couple more runs of these and again if people want to do cycle wand or TTF or RT I am happy to do whatever you want, chat, for like two hours. <laughs> then then we'll switch things up a little bit. But uh, let's see. Is it in her character bank? Does she have her own? Let's find out together. Doesn't look like it. She does not have her own smart link. Hmm. To fix that at some point. I should have spares though, right? Yes. Oh, you get away without cure paralysis. Oh, that'll feel so good. Raises ETA for hunters and forces using range attack. Technically, yeah. <laughs> yes, but yes, but no. <laughs> well, it reduces the penalty you take. Okay. So I guess we'll do another one, but let me know, Chad, if there are any runs you would like to do today. It is the Valentine's event, so the more people that join in, the better the odds. As I just casually stroll over here. Oops, <laughs> it's not seeking TTF. We'll call it episode two. What a habit. Speaking of habits. My menuing is all over the place today. I'm going to tell my hands to wake up. Yeah, let's try this. It's a little riskier, but if I have my control panel set up correctly, this should not matter. That looks fine. Okay. I should be good then. And then after this, we'll have to figure out what Sonic soundtrack to put on next. I had a list going, but we'll we'll go back. It'll probably end up in the Genesis era again if I had to guess. Yeah, see, that's already landing more consistently already. Oh, that sacrifice special. That was not angled correctly. I deserve that. What I think I need to complete this character a little better is uh, Rel's Parasol with hit percentage. I think once I get that, this character will be basically done. I need kind of like a nice AoE weapon that is not Excalibur. Okay, there we go. Now Demons is cooperating with me. Thank you, Demons. Demon the Rappy, which I guess works. <sighs> so disappointed in the Demon Proc there. So disappointed.
yeah, if there's any topics people want to ask questions about or just comment on in general, it doesn't even have to be PSO related. We we could talk about almost anything. It's fine. We love exploring other games and RPGs. <laughs> Although not not necessarily all RPGs, but we do like to learn more and potentially put things on the list of things to do next. Yeah, like see here, right here, I'm missing the partisan. I want my partisan so bad. Back up slightly. scared one of them shot at me I'm not gonna lie there is a panic shot for me Raffi trolled me you know what despite not putting on cure paralysis I haven't really been punished by them so far that's a good sign I guess let's make life a little easier for our ranger friend there let's debuff the world Unfortunately, our defense is so high after Jelen that I could just afford to go crazy with Excalibur, to be honest. She's like one of the safest Excalibur users in the game. I love it so much. She like, listen, they're not going to do any damage on any difficulty. Like, I named the, the Rockcast Tankus. I called her Tankus. She's basically unkillable. Hold on a nice little three seal. Virus armor, if you feel like it. They're never killing her through Jelen. Let me debuff. Oh, that was fast. Double Scepter. Eh. Is just just so consistent with red ring mm. Mm -mm -mm. smart link plus red ring equals happy time storm wand what storm wand love going for the cheeky rebarda <laughs> just throw it out there just never know when it's gonna freeze them in one shot goodbye indie bell run i guess i'll pick this up for new players Oh, you know why that didn't kill? I didn't Zalor first. Okay, they died pretty quickly there. Speaking of died quickly. Okay, so now they effectively can't damage me at all. And on top of that, she's got crazy rest of range. Or excuse me, rest of restorative range, I meant to say. Not necessarily range of rest of. But yeah, she's basically invincible as far as I'm concerned. Even in multiplayer, it's hilarious how little damage she takes. She only has to contend with the awful set damage of certain enemies. But that's something every class deals with. Honestly, I was gonna say, it's probably worth just straight up slicing them versus us and glitching, because they're already frozen. Contemplating what quests to do after the years. You watch. If I if I pick red or white ID into the same quest, 
We're gonna get the mill lily. Such good damage. my Zalor. How rude of them. So last real attempt at Vivian. Let them get a little closer before I slicer them. Interrupting my rambling may stop that. Rude. Aw, uh, no mill lily. So technically, whenever this happens, you could technically reset the run here. I'm gonna kill them out of spite though. Oh, I slightly too slow on the cast. Unfortunate. I saw my hand move. I definitely pressed the button, just came out too late. So sad. So yeah, this is the run I think I did over and over to get my first Rambling May. But I think I reset on the previous Lily wave. If I'm not mistaken, this will just lead to the boss. No more waves. So yeah, we cleared that much faster. Almost a solid minute and 10 seconds. But if you're just going to the Lily, that took like 8 minutes. So I guess I'll revise my timeline. If we're not looking to do full clear to the boss, probably like 7 minutes multiplayer. Which is not a very long run. So it's not too hard to learn this kind of run and do it on your own. But we'll, uh, we'll do one more. But as I said before, just let me know, chat, if you're looking to hop in in multiplayer today. We'll make a decision based off of that. Ooh, quick shortcut. Ooh. We're out of there. But we'll do one more, and then we'll mix it up, I think, a little bit. What I was curious about... Whether I'd prefer Red ID or White ID episode 2. Do I value a Crimson Coat or a 13 more? Both of them technically get Discos. So I don't think it super matters. I think Red might be technically better. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in a couple Red IDs for this. Just having another spare crimson coat wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I definitely don't care about 13. I have I have enough for every character I have. I think the downside is I don't really have a red force at the moment unless I level my level 1 character up a bit more. So I have, for example, a... Um, Yuka Seal, but she would need support. Like, if we did that, then it would require somebody to go not trap base, which is a bit unfortunate. I don't know if that's super worth it. I mean, you show a better... Weirdly, she has better AoE options than my Fomoral at the moment, because my spells don't matter. But would it make up for a potentially lower shift of... Hmm... I guess I could try it once, just to see the difference. On the plus side, on the rare uh, enemy hunt for Red ID, alternatively, if you're not looking for uh, 
a convenient Vivian spawn. It does potentially get Magical Stone or Tista, and there are a decent number of Hild Elts in this quest on your way to do your main hunt. So it's not a bad alternate ID for this one. Depending on who you are, it's probably better. And double Disco Brave Man's always kind of funny. Red ID live in large in this quest specifically. Nice damage. There's our mill lily. Okay, now we can officially retire the run. If we don't get it here, just be like, okay, next ID. <laughs> there we go. Perish. I did not get it. So sad. There we go, chat. Watching me fail 50 50 is like a classic. Oof. So that was a 50 50, but we had a 105% chance bonus. Unfortunate. What it we call that a tease. Unfortunate. Yeah, honestly, hmm. But ID sounds more tempting to me when I realized it had magical stone or tista. I remember it had a lot of other rares I didn't care about, but that actually is kind of a game changer for me. Damage. Get out of here, Rappy. <laughs> Almost 2,000 damage. It's so funny watching Omar will do that much of all characters. I'll reapply bluffs. I got nothing better to do. There we go. We could say we officially tried. We gambled. The rare item of all things failed us. Unfortunate. Wow, she straight up actually just combo kills them. That's crazy. And this is all zeroed, right? Wow. I'm wondering if I should end up sphering this at some point. <laughs> or if I'll play long enough to sphere it. I might, that might be a better statement. That freeze was very rude. Almost died due to it. Hmm. Probably should have brought Glide Divine now that I think about it, but that's fine. by random enemies. So when we see all the lily spawn in the final room, I think we could just safely reset. Save ourselves a little bit of time. Then we'll try to do the Magical Stone Artista Disco Brave Man 
Rambling May combo, see what happens. But I guess Rare Enemy stepped up a little bit. We saw it in less than 1 in 500 of them. That's always nice. Another escape doll. I will probably just go pick that up. That is kind of funny. My damage from Razan sort of mattered for the faster kill. I think it's funny that I've been shocked more times than paralyzed despite fighting all the lilies. I think this is normally the wave you reset on with Raffi's, if I'm not mistaken. I never pay attention to the wave order. I should probably remember it one day. But I think from that standpoint... It's just hill delts. I mean, I guess if I'm doing red ID, I should at least wait to see if these are rares. Because I think the final couple hill delts are after the lily wave. I guess in a weird way, if I went Crimson Code, I'm still going to do the full red ID run. Hmm. Yeah, so we could technically just leave the run at this point. I think I will. I'll say goodbye. Goodbye, Power Material. Okay, so what I'm going to do... What IDs do I have that are red, is the question. Other than my Hugh Casil. I don't think I have any anymore. I, I re-rolled my FOMAR a long time ago, or else he would have been red ID. Here's what I'm going to do. We are going to swap into my Huka Seal. Let's go to town with the enemy. She hit 162. They're out of sync. I gotta level Crimson up again. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess proceed. I was gonna say, quiet night today in chat. Must be winding down from work. See, we got rainbow batons, I have a Jaya. I should probably just get a gun here over the Jaya. I don't think I should just casual Jaya everything out of existence. Yeah, it's a shame Red Sword isn't as powerful as I was hoping it would be. I mean, it's good, but it's not like Gunnir levels of power. I thought about that the other day when I was mentioning, you know, Hunu oral weapons of choice. Whether I wanted to include, like, a, a charge sword in there or not. And I'm like, no. I thought about it. I'm just like, uh. Okay. Do charge gun here, mech guns, last swan. Basically got everything I need. She's already got smart link on, B101. She's got accuracy with the S parts. So we'll do a couple more of these runs with Red ID, just to mix it up a little bit. 
And then, uh, yeah, we'll take another check to see what kind of quests we want to do after this. But at least we could say we did it until we saw the middle lily. And then it denied us, and then we felt sad. I haven't seen a section ID shakeup in a while. I wonder if it's finally stabilized. I was thinking back to the last time I swapped it. It's been quite some time. Oh, we have somebody joining us today. Welcome, Jensen. For Team Sedge. <laughs> Hmm. I almost went to VR again, chat. I never learn. I'm telling you, when I'm tired, I'll make the same mistakes over and over. <laughs> Learning process gone. At least I know I have to go left here. I learned that much. I think I'll just equip last swan. What a gun. I was like one step from the switch. Oh, too close to retarget. Needed to bring something to shoot the trap faster. So, I mean, I guess I could technically mech gun it. Okay, yeah, I can hit it with mech gun. It's just really awkward. It's being able to shut down whole waves like this is kind of important. And I'm going to recognize that I am not the AoE DPS. <laughs> Learn your role, Hunter. You will freeze trap this room and you will like it. Yeah, at least I have something to fast shoot. And I gotta practice that a bit more. I don't even think I did that last time we were on stream. Just instant popping of the trap. I have 13 freeze traps, and there's not many waves in the game. Or for this one, specifically. <sighs> Out of range, by one step. Right idea. Heart was in the right place. My feet were not. Just, it's very. I, I'll have to get you to see the idea of using the mech gun as the uh, the trap shoot. I mean, it technically works. Tiki dancing hard. Hope you're doing well, Tiki. How are the uh, retro challenges going, by the way, Tiki? Hopefully, pretty well. It took a step forward. That's why I missed. I deserve that. I actually had a question about that, Tiki. Are you coming up with the challenges on your own, or are there just, like, people have put a group of challenges out for a game and you pick the games? Just curious. Stuck on Kid Chameleon? Oof. On your own. It's very impressive. I like it. I don't necessarily like all the games played, because Kid Chameleon, I do recall on the Sega, it's... It's certainly a game of all time. But it's interesting seeing a variety. God technique? Wait, these things drop god technique? I didn't even notice that on the list. Wait a minute, that's actually a relevant drop for me. I I'm sorry, I was just so flabbergasted by god technique and the photon drop. I lost track of the lilies. I mean, can you blame me? I wasn't ready mentally. 
Oh, I'm getting bullied. I like that her damage is actually good enough that even without buffs, I'm still kind of destroying them. Uh, that seems fair. Build that Deldi. Dodge the arm. See, this is where Mech Gun makes sense. Like, I, I feel like with the Hunter, it's kind of like the must-have thing on the character. I menu the wrong direction, but that's fine. Our freeze trap was on point. Nothing else after that was good. But listen, anytime I shut down a wave, the better. Make them cheer. They're doing the praise the sun emote or whatever it's called. And because I died, I think I escaped all myself. I have all my craps back. So I could just do whatever I want to them. What a freeing experience to just not care at all. You're slow. Interesting. Oh, that's so fast. There we go. I mean, like, I sometimes quick trap shoot, but definitely not to the degree that I'm doing today. This is this is my practice to tell myself to do it more often because it's very good. Sometimes I just leave it up and walk away because I know I don't need it right away. I'm just setting up for the future. Like, I could technically do it here if I wanted. Oops. I'm not sure what trap that was. I it might have been a damage trap. Yeah, it just gives the rangers so much more time to do whatever they want, which is usually blowing everything away with the charge arm. the beat count? I think it just went even beat, Tiki. It's, uh, 17. You interested in some episode 4, Tiki? Hmm. I'm bring the Hugh Castile a bit more into episode 2. I think, like, most of the enemies are not that oppressive. Ooh, that doesn't hit a big group like I was hoping it would. Slightly too far apart. Give you 15. Yeah, I was thinking we we're going to do at least one more of these quests regardless. Yeah, if we want to do some episode 4. I'm assuming purple ID? Or orange? Let me know which you prefer. I could play either. It's more of a question, are we doing Excalibur... Galatines, Heaven Strikers. I definitely do not mind more Heaven Strikers. I prefer one with some better stats. Yeah, very fast run with three people. That was a whole minute faster. So let's do at least one more of these as we wait for Tiki. I'm gonna do my lovely flash lobby technique. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. I cannot type today. So next game is up. We'll wait for Jensen and company. I guess I could just even just clear password, honestly. I don't think we're that swarmed by people. Or I mistyped something. Tap pass. Clear pass. I forgot the command, that's fun. <laughs> Game crashed, oof. Uh... Might be me. I'm having trouble pinging the server. I might have to remake. 